love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game a warm welcome to you all without further delay we are pleased to introduce your new manager it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find almost anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mine Hi, and welcome to episode 41 of this Road to Glory with Grimsby Town, the youth edition, where we take Grimsby Town from League 2 all the way up to the Premier League, where we need to get into the Champions League and reach the final. That's when this series will be ending, and to get there we will have to use only academy players or regions. We cannot use real players in any way or form. So, that's, that's that. If you're new to the channel, that's a little recap of what this um, manager career mode is about, the youth edition. Now, this episode that we are gonna play con will contain four games. Um, we'll start off with a really tough away game against Bournemouth on the 18th of March. Not, not really a, a week later, we take a Norwich home at Blundell Park. And then we end the month of March with another home game on the 29th when we play Huddersfield. And the last game of this episode will be us playing Luton on the 5th of April. And it's gonna be tough. We are in the... Well, we are actually top of the league right now. Fighting. We are two points ahead of Sheffield United chasing us. We will play our blue away kits. Our beautiful blue away kits. And they are gonna be in their beautiful red-black home kit. We're gonna to go to the Vitality Stadium and forecast is clear. But without further ado, let's see if we can shake fifth placed Bournemouth chasing us. Buckle up. Let's go. So we will kick the Okay, we're gonna kick. We're not gonna kick the game off. We're gonna kick the game off, and we have already. Jesus, it's just on the phone. That's why. Oh, we have a shot, but it's blocked, and it's yeah, that's it's not too close, but it's it's not too far away either. So, Taylor is taking the shot. Makes a save. This is injury. He is, well, he got the ball there. He has, like, no speed at all. And I guess a, a tackle now on him would, could be devastating. And that's a nice save. Far post. They, they still wants us to take off Maric. I hope that he can run off his band-aid. Oh, what a beautiful bicycle kick from Mohammed. It's skied it, but he tries. <laughs> Well, he tries. Hardy whistle. Oh, they just stole the ball. This is not good. And he's all alone. It's a big save from Novak. We're gonna have Bird entering the pitch in a bit. Let's do that now. We need to take Maric off. Bird will enter, switch side with, with Weber, and hopefully everything will be beautiful. Beautiful man. And you play a nice through ball there for Mohammed. He actually steps in, takes a shot far post, and we have the lead. Thank you, North. That goal is for you, and that's your. Well, that's your goal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful North, and he provides Mohammed with a nice ball. If Mohammed doesn't make mistakes, and we will go up. Look at this. But the mastermind is North. Goal number 39 from. Mohammed, and we love the fact that he does that. Bird gets the ball. Oh, he has. Oh, he has some space. Come on, far post. Well, 
So Leo Bird comes in with his second goal of the season, giving us a two goal lead after a beautiful run on his wing. Oh, he can cut inside. There's no one there. No, I wanted to provide Dragovic. He came beautifully, but that's not bad. To go here on the line, I think. I stood on the wrong side. Hard to tell from some angles where they might take the shot. Well, it's hard to tell, you know. <laughs> it's not like I can actually know where the shot's supposed to come, but I, I can always guess. Oh, we have a goal. Nailer brutally sh off their path from Armin. I'll let you guys fill in whatever I we're about to say there. This is a nice one. Look at this. Cuts back and that's goal numbers. 30 for Neymar. He's, a, he's in a midfielder. Don't forget that. A central midfielder. Gee. Oh yes, they just substituted Dominguez. I totally forgot that he plays for Bournemouth. Or he was a left winger for us last season. He did really well. And we sold him to Bournemouth. Neymar. Oh my god, that's so close. He gets the ball. Takes a shot. You don't. Push them back. We cannot. They're going for it. Yeah, that's a goal. I couldn't even clear it. I tried, but I wasn't close to it. There, I tried to clear it straight in, back to him and he just blasted in. And it's a 3 1 game, and the uh, clean sheet is gone. Tavernier scores. Beautiful goal. Beautiful. Oh, that's a nice run, but up. Oh, game over. We have a 3 1 win against Bournemouth, and I'm gonna try to stand. Still, but yeah, we, we have a 3 1 win. We will take this definitely. That was so much better than I dared to believe in because we know that Bournemouth has a good team, and, and yeah, I'll take it. So, before we go into the second game of this episode, we have a little look at the Maric injury. <clears throat> He's just gone for five days, so he will be back. For the next game and then we also got this one Simon Mohammed has been picked for Sweden and Nils Weber has been picked for Germany and they might go on international duty between the 25th and 31st of March and this means of course that we have a game on the 29th where both Mohammed and Weber might miss we are ready to take on Norwich playing in a red beautiful away kit and we are playing our black and white striped. Let's buckle up. Let's beat Norwich. Let's go. So they kicked the game off. We had a big image of, of the skipper nailer there. The fans love him, of course. He has been with us since day one. Day one of this series. Nailer was already in the youth academy when we when we started the series, so he has played every game as possible. With the ball. Oh, he comes in with a cross. Oh, hits the post. Beautiful header from Mohammed behind us. We're actually gonna that's gonna help us. Maric. Oh, he finds Mohammed. We can take the shot. 40th goal of the season for Mohamed. Thank you, Maric. Glad your shoulder is better. Welcome back to the team, even though you didn't miss anything. You scared us. Don't do that, ever. So that is goal number 44. No, not 44. 44. 
Mohammed. Oh, that's a nice save from. Oh my God, Novak uses every inch in his body to get that one out. He's still he's the game of thrones for us, you know. He's the north. He's the north. He is the north. And that's a one all because north was in, in his position. He was south. Come on, it's a good goal though, and it's they have him. He has scored. Traore scored against us before. It's a good one. Perfect top in. So we have a one all in the 27th, and this is gonna be a really tough game. But oh, here they come. Here they come. But don't walk in my space. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, they almost. And they can't keep that out. Half worldly for Mohammed, and it finds the back of the net via the goalie. So, a lot of luck. A lot of luck. It's blocked, and he gets it, and Weber passes it, and he takes it. I like that. Beautiful balance. He gets the shot down in the ground, and it's, it's a nice goal, actually. Good one. It's the 41st goal for Mohammed, and we are gonna take him off. We have Naylor with a yellow. Oh, we have some speed in Mohammed. He walks around. He's trying, and he's not succeeding. Maric, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're continuing taking the shot. It's not too far away. 75th, we don't want them to get there. Oh, beautiful North, he is there. Oh, taking the shot. It's wide. Oh, still. Oh, why, 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 why? Bernier, oh, he's running with the ball. This is the last that's gonna happen in the game. Bernier gets, he's all alone though. Oh, they win it back. And that should be a referee, come on. That is it, we win two goals to one against Norwich. That was a six point game. We will keep them behind us for a while. We got three point advantage there. So we have Mohammed with the brace. They got Traoris going for Norwich and we have a two one game. I'll take it. We are ready for the third game of this episode. Taking on Huddersfield at Bundle Park and we are gonna play in Overcast and we can see that. We are missing Mohammed, Barnier takes his spot, and we are missing Weber, and Bird takes his spot. So, two players off to international duty, and we have two players from the bench, the B brothers, Barnier, Bird. And let's see if they can actually fill the shoes. Buckle up. Let's go. So they will kick the game off and we are rocking. Come on boys. We do, we, oh, we, we, we have to remember the fact that in the last game, Mohammed scored both goals. He has scored, beautiful. Bird, he gets by, comes in. Oh, that's almost, <clears throat> it's a nice run from Naylor in the center there and Bird found him with a, Beautiful pass. Oh, Naylor turns his opponent around. He takes the shot. He fights the back of the net with a beautiful shot from range. We are a goal up. Naylor. Finishing style. Benier is, of course, there to congratulate him. So that's goal number 31 from Naylor this season. Okay, is that the level you want this game to be at? I mean, we can play that well too. We love physical games, so. Bring it on. Bernier takes a shot. Oh! <laughs> the ball from him. Fernandez comes in. No, we are not. That's a 1 0 because we let Simpson all alone in front of goal. It's a 1 0 game. 
We have a one all in 20 seconds and we just have to keep on, you know? Bird, he gets by. Oh, he got, they took the ball from him. And he, oh, get there. Oh, Bernier. Oh, okay, Bernier get the ball. He takes a shot and it's deflected wide. Let's see, can we get one of our towers inside? Oh, we can, but save him by North. Oh, big save. Oh, okay. We have been creating. Bernier with a scissor overhead kick. He's more of a target. Oh, God. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. But who am I to, to question the authorities? Oh, Bernier, he's all through. And he passes the ball and we have a 2-1. And we have Naylor again. Thank you, Naylor. That is goal number 32 for Naylor. And we just have to keep on fighting. We have substitutions to make. Bernier might come off. We actually might see the debut of the striker Robson from the academy. We are going to get... Five players substituted. We get Robson and Mas De Jong. Beautiful. We get May. Acosta is entering the field. It's quite a few players. Mas here on the wing. Oh, he finds Robson. It's the first touch. Oh, he can he can he go by? Take a shot. He can. What a debut, Robson. Number twenty-two, Robson. Introduce himself for the Grimsby crowd. Wow. So we have a, we get some a little breather there. We have a 3 1 now. Young, we have Robson. Oh, Robson. Can he find Moss? He can. Oh, we have a. Oh, we take an easy. The Young with a shot. Robson. Oh, he actually gets by again. And he is too close to the keeper. He cannot decide if he sh should he go with power or should he shift the ball. But from Mohammed. And that's the final whistle. We win three goals to one against Huddersfield at home. So we have Naylor with the brace and the new guy Robson scores in his debut. Beautiful. I'll take this. We are now ready for the fourth and final game of this episode. Taking on Luton Town away at Kenworth Road. And we're going to... Our forecast is clear and the good news even though we won the last game but Mohammed and Weber is back meaning that yeah we are not playing Bernier and Bird in this one well they're on the bench they could get some game time without further ado let's head into the game let's see if we can take three points away against Luton buckle up So we are kicking off now and this is going to be rough. We know that Luton has been, well, they are good. Oh, that's a nice through ball. That is not a penalty. Nice defensive play. Maric is there putting some pressure on them. Oh, they, and he gets it. Nailer, he finds the back of the net. Finally, there's some justice. He deserved that one after they killed him. I'm happy he resurrected. Jeez. That's a beautiful goal, though. And it's so well deserved. I mean, I'm, I'm extremely biased, I know that, but that's so well, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. 33rd goal for Naylor this season, and that is mental. He's a central midfield. Oh, he just stole the ball from them. Oh, he went for a power shot, and then he just lost everything. 
I can't do anything because then I get punished and they can do everything. Oh, that was way too close than I was hoping for. That wasn't too far away. We have Maric. Maric gets the ball. Oh, he finds Mohamed. And Mohamed finds the back of the net with a beautiful strike top pin. We have a two goal lead. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful ball from Maric. Mohamed makes no mistake. He just blasts it up in the, in the net. The roof of the net. Look at that. Almost. No. Kind of. I don't know. But it's good. That was the 42nd time that Mohamed scored, which is just amazing. Did Austin? Come on, come on, come on. Don't let him pass you. Don't let him pass you. That's no. Yeah, beautiful Novak. They will score now. Don't give them justice. Thank you, Novak. They have a corner. We need to clear this one. We actually injured one of their players. That's sad, actually. I guess that was the John. Oh, Bird. Gets that one up. We have Mohammed now. He's racing like mad. Taking the shot. And he finds the back of the net, low driven shot, another goal from Mohammed, and there's a three goal to zero lead. Is this well deserved? Not that we haven't really created much, but that's a beautiful finish. Low driven far post, curls around the keeper with the outside of his foot. I'll take this. Thank you, Mohammed. You are fantastic. For once, I actually shot straight with a knuckleball. Bird with a shot, but that is it. We have a clean sheet. Luton Town 0, Grinfield Town 3. You can see Naylor scores, Mohammed with a brace. And there's three points, and let's go have a look at the league table and then end this episode. So, this is what it looks like after 41 games played. Now there's there's some pretty important issues here. Not issues, but pretty important things we need to look at. First of all, are we gonna be able to at least play playoff? Seventh West Brom, they are 26 points behind us, and there's 15 points to play for. So we know that we are we, we're gonna play playoff at least. Now we have 96 points. We, we are five points ahead of Sheffield United. Five points. And there's only five games left to play. So we can actually, we can, almost, we can afford to lose a game and we can draw a game and we still be in, ahead of, of Sheffield United. So yeah. And then if you look down to third, Watford, because first and second are automatic promoted, right? Third is the only one we can take. They are the only one that can actually get into that spot of automatic promotion. Now they are 14 points behind us, 14 points behind us, meaning there's 15 points to play for. If we lose the remaining five games and Watford win the remaining five games, then we we're not going to get an automatic promotion. But if we draw one, or if they draw one, we will play Premier League football next season. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I do hope you enjoy this series. And I do hope you enjoy the fact that we are, we are so close to Premier League football. We are so close to back to back to back promotion, which is also just, yeah, it's without further ado, let's just wrap this thing up and thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope, hope, hope you smash that like button. Almost want you guys to smash it so hard so your mouse breaks, right? Now, Take good care of yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to each other, and I will see you guys in the next episode. But till then, one love.